NASA says an asteroid can come very, very close to hitting Earth. The asteroid dubbed 2013 TX68 poses no current threat to Earth, but it's going to pass by 11,000 miles away from Earth. This is 21 times closer to Earth than our moon is. This is all predictions. It's really hard to figure out the flight path of an asteroid or flying objects out there in space because it's just so unpredictable. So they think that this is going to happen. It, well, it's coming up on March 5th. All right, hopefully I didn't scare you guys. Time for the intro. Hey, what's happening, all you amazing people? I am Landon. Thank you so much for coming back. There is so much news to talk about today, so let's not waste any time. So starting off with Facebook, guess what? They just turned 12 years old today. Next year, Facebook becomes a teenager. So to celebrate, Facebook has created hashtag Friends Day, where they automatically put together a quick one-minute video of some of your friends' pictures. There's some music. There's other animation as well. It's really cool. You guys should take a look at it. It'll be on your Facebook homepage. The video is customizable so you can add or remove photos and then you can share it with friends. PewDiePie and Awesomeness TV are among the first stars to be featured in a reality adventure series on YouTube Red. YouTube Red, just to remind you guys, is YouTube's $10 a month subscription plan available in the US. You get all this exclusive videos and content. So PewDiePie isn't taking his videos and just putting it on YouTube Red. He's making like these featured films that you can't actually see on his YouTube channel. So you're paying a premium to get a premium content. And also, you can experience YouTube ad free. This is great for YouTube because yes, they figured out another way to like get more money, but for us creators, it's a little bit scary because you know what? We're losing a little bit of money. This is our jobs. We make videos and we have ads as a way for us to earn a little bit of money. So now YouTube Red kind of destroys us. I don't know if I can get behind this. So these full length programs on YouTube Red is going to be available on February 10th. Lily Singh, aka Superwoman, will also be on a comedy special. 29 year old British tourist Peter Nicholson was out partying after drinking 20 beers and he had so many shots, well he passed away from alcohol poisoning. This took place in Bangkok and he was found dead in his bed in his hotel room. If you guys are going out there because you guys are of age, don't be binge drinking. Be careful. Careful. Don't try to impress the person or the girl like how much you can drink. It's, it's not even a fun time. And look what happened to this person. Peter Nicholson, rest in peace, buddy. And my condolences goes out to your family and, of course, your loved ones as well. Okay, so from drinking to drugs, yes, this is a segue. New York police just had their biggest seizure ever in New York. Guatemalan men was just busted with $14 million worth of heroin. The arrest was in Elmer's Queens. Police spotted this monster truck looking for parking. Well, police approached the vehicle asking men what they were doing. They gave back to the police officers different stories. So this is when they brought out their sniffing dog and the dog sniffed out drugs. So when police searched the vehicle, they found 100 pounds of heroin hidden inside an old drive shaft and axle casing. You guys are looking at the pictures right now. People try to be so clever, but you can never outbeat this cute little guy right here. This is a dog that sniffs out drugs, no matter how good you hide it. All right, moving on to some space news. Astronomers revealed that space mission could be possible this year. We might be getting people onto the moon. The last time this has happened was back in 1972 in which a lot of people are questioning well why has it been like 44 years since we sent someone up there don't we have the technology now well yes we do but me, myself, I'm questioning this. So the last mission was the Apollo 17 mission. Google is actually sending a land robot to the moon for further research, and that could be done this year. The next manned mission will be in 2018 by a private institute, so we won't know which country. Japan will be sending their first man to the moon for the first time ever in 2020. Hashtag Kanye West for 2020. Who are you voting for president in 2020? For me, it's hashtag Baby Lucy. The United States of America will be sending an astronaut back to the moon in 2023. Also, scientists are trying to get their first manned mission on Mars. I mean, this could be many, many years from now. I don't even know if it's going to be in our lifetime, well, depending on your guys' age. But if this is actually something that could be a reality, you know, sending someone off to Mars, I mean, how cool is that? The Zika virus has been confirmed in the United States by health officials. A patient was diagnosed in Texas after being infected through sexual contact. Their partner fell ill with the disease after traveling to a country affected by the virus. Experts warn people must take precautions to prevent spread of the disease. Stephen Hawking, who has become one of the greatest scientists of our time, believes that many black holes could power the entire world's electrical supply. But many of these black holes could also destroy us in the process. Stephen Hawking is trying to figure out a way how to harness this energy. The black holes would give off x-rays and gamma rays at the rate of about 10 million megawatts, which is enough electrical power for the whole world to, for now and forever. 
and Stephen Hawking, if he was the one to harness this power, and he's like the distributor, he's gonna be like a multi-trillionaire. Or wait, what is more than like trillions? And also, the electrical cost would be way down, unless Stephen Hawking, you know, he charges us a lot. So we can see like the future changing and adapting to that. Like we're gonna see power cars everywhere. All right, moving on to some YouTube news because you guys love it. And if you guys want more, don't forget in the comment section below, put hashtag more YouTube news or more hashtag science news or tell me what you guys want to see or hear. Philip DeFranco just uploaded a video reacting to the Five Brothers where they talked about stopping other people, other creators from creating reaction videos. The Five Brothers have since taken their videos down, but of course this is the world of the internet. Other people have re-uploaded and those videos are getting hundreds of thousands and I think there's one that has a million views. Also, the Five Brothers has become one of the most hated channels on YouTube. I feel so bad for them. They're great guys. They're great brothers. But trying to stop other YouTubers from creating reaction videos, I don't know if you can like create that. So right now, they've been losing hundreds of thousands of subscribers a day. Roman Atwood went skydiving in his living room. His video is called Indoor Skydiving. It has about 2 million views in just a few days. FujiTube has finally moved. He decided to rent out his, uh, it's about 3,500 square foot townhouse. Also, his best friend, his manager, Simi, moved in with him. A few days ago, Fuji uploaded onto his vlogging channel about giving away one of his puppies, and he talked it was a possibility. He told his audience that he doesn't know what he's going to do. Well, yesterday, he came up with another video called I Gave Her Away, where he talks about, you know, he can't even look at the camera. He's, uh, he's confessing something. He had to give her away. She was too hard to handle. And then he was, like, so upset, he got up. He sat back down. But then there's the puppy, so he was actually trolling the internet because uh, it was all a prank. He didn't give his dog away. Our crazy story about 23-year-old Jasmine Ector, who has been hospitalized after suffering from horrific burns when her husband threw acid on her face. She was taken to the hospital in Bangladesh. Her face is all burnt up, her torso, her arms, her legs are all bandaged up to prevent the burnt skin touching in these injured areas. Acid attacks in Bangladesh is actually quite popular and that's so sad, with over 3,625 victims in the past year. Another messed up story is about a doctor who found a little girl's ears infested with giant ants. They've been nesting inside of her ear. This girl's 12 years old. If that was me, I would be freaking out. This doctor would have to knock me out for like weeks until all of them are gone. At first, people thought it was just an ear infection. So far, medics have extracted more than 1,000 ants from the little girl's ears. About 10 live ants crawl out of her ear on a daily basis, and this is an ongoing thing. It's taken many, many days to like get the tweezers in there and just pull them out one at a time. It's a very scary situation. Don't know what I would do in this one. Take a look at this next picture right here. This is a raccoon that aborted a train. Let's hope he paid for his ticket and didn't just, you know, train hop. Well, this little guy has become an internet sensation all over social media. He was very confused and lost. He didn't know what was happening or which stop he needed to get off at. The raccoon was in people's bags. I mean, this was a pretty funny moment for some people, but if you're scared of raccoons, yeah, it's, it's a scary moment. I mean, if that raccoon hissed at me, I would be freaking out. I would book it and then start crying. I'd be like, no, I'm way too young to die. Ah. Okay, from raccoons to world raccoons. 43-year-old Devendra Souther from Gurjat, India. He is a carpenter who has received the world record for having the most fingers and toes. He's 28 years old and he has seven fingers on each of his hands, seven toes on each of his feet. The Avenger always worries that one day he's going to lose one of his fingers. He's going to hammer it off by accident or saw it off. I would be super worried too because you're going to lose your world record. And I wonder if like he accidentally cut off one of his extra digits. If he would get doctors to like sew it back on or transplant an extra finger just to keep the record. I don't know. I'm just going through options here. Well, there you guys have it. That's all your news stories for today. Today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna go back. I gotta take some Buckley's. This is I think day three or day four of not having a voice being sick. So I'm trying to overcompensate in these videos by speaking louder. So hopefully your ears aren't bleeding. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, comment in the comment section below what you guys thought of it. I love making these videos. I think I've been doing it for like five years now, and some of you guys have been here for a very long time. In the comment section below, put hashtag how many years you've been watching for. So hashtag one years, hashtag six months. Because I'm curious, if you guys want more videos, look right over here. There's two of them for you to click on. That's it for me, guys. I'm going to get my rest. It's my weekend. I'll see you guys back here on Monday.